Hey there, superstars. Guess what? It's time for another library read aloud. Today, I'm going to read from one of my favorite springtime books. It's called The Big Umbrella. Do you guys see that? Is that a huge umbrella or what? Let's find out how it got that way, shall we? By the front door. There is an umbrella. Do you keep your umbrella by the front door? I used to, and now I just keep it in the car. It's always with me that way. Like the other day when we got those unexpected showers, right? Right in my car, not a worry. It is big. Look at all the rooftops. And then you see the umbrella right above it. That's a huge umbrella. It is a big, friendly umbrella. Do you guys have a big friendly umbrella? I have a pretty big one. And when I'm on duty by the back gate of Matthews, uh, when it was raining, I had all these students under my umbrella as well. <laughs> we wanted to stay dry. Oh, it likes to help. What's that coming down? We see sunshine and oh, leaves are coming down. That can happen when it starts to rain sometimes, right? In the fall. It likes to spread its arms wide. Oh my gosh. Look at that little child just spreading his or her arms wide and splashing in puddles. That's so fun to do, but only if you have waterproof shoes on. It loves to give shelter. Shelter, class is another word for what? Something that protects you, keeps you safe, right? In this case, it keeps you safe from rain. It loves to gather people in. Oh my goodness. What do we have? One, two, Three, four. Looks like four little children are underneath the umbrella. I love the one that's the ballerina. It reminds me of my daughters. Their dance teacher would have been very mad if they went out in the rain in their ballet shoes. That's a big no. It doesn't matter if you're tall. Ah, oh, that reminds me of Big Bird, right? Look at those big old feet. Or Harry looks a little like Chewbacca to me from Star Wars. Or Plaid. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. Look at the little doggy, right? Doggy has four legs. You guys met my dog, Bex, in that last video. <laughs> Bex would go under an umbrella. Some people worry that there won't be enough room under the big umbrella. <gasps> my gosh, look at how big it is now. But the amazing thing is, there is. Holy Toledo, look at the umbrella now. All those people. It's almost like a whole classroom full of students and then some. Oh, the sun is coming out. It's peeking through the clouds. Do you guys see that? 
And that umbrella is always smiling. There is always room. And now all the people are, are out from under the umbrella because the sun is out. There's always room. So class, what did you think of the big umbrella? Was it a good story? Here we go in the back. We have some little ducklings that are scurrying to get under the umbrella. Was it a good story? Was it a thumbs up or just kind of in between? Or was it a big thumbs down? I don't know. I love this story. I love this story in the springtime especially because that's when we seem to get the most rain. And it's a good reminder, right? It's a good reminder that for all of us, there's always enough room in our hearts for one more friend or two more or three or a classroom full of friends, right? It's not just an umbrella. It kind of reflects a little bit of life. So superstars, I hope you have an amazing week ahead and I will see you next week with another story. In the meantime, if it starts to rain, get out those umbrellas and make sure that there's lots of room for friends. I'll see you next week. Bye.